No lying today. Vlogmas day 17. 17. God, well, I can't remember what day it is. Yeah, this is a big one today. Eyes that sparkle. Balance me wonder eye cream. Oh, I need more than that to wake me up this morning. Good morning everybody and happy Vlogmas Day 16. So I have just got back from a run. I've done four miles and it felt great. It felt a lot easier than it did the other day. Didn't need a stop so I am so so pleased. I finally feel like I'm getting back to where I was. Well not quite but at least I can do the distance now without stopping. So anyway I'm gonna go get a shower but I just wanted to show you something. I did the granny square, in fact I've done two. That was my first one, that was my second one. In fact, I think the first one's better. But yeah, I finally cracked it late last night. So, got up early this morning, wanted to have another go. So, you know that I'm just gonna be knitting, low knitting, crocheting loads of these now. Anyway, I wanted to show you the pattern that I'm gonna be tackling today. So, let me just turn my camera around. Right, so this is Vogue V9264. And this, I think, is very similar to the Jackie Dress by Victory Patterns, especially if you look at the line drawings on the back. Um, I really love that dress, especially Sharn's from Kittenish Behaviour. She's made a couple of those, and I just think they look amazing on her. And, um, yeah, so I want to... I've made this. I made it last year out of some leopard print fabric. Um, it's one in one of my earlier vlogs, if you want to go have a look. And I did make the sort of knee length version. Now the only thing I don't like about it is the sleeve heads, they are extremely puffed. And um, yeah, it does put me off that dress a little bit. So what I think I'm going to do is just swap the sleeve out for a different sleeve from another knit dress. I'm sure that that should be workable. Um, in fact, this top, I mean it's princess seamed isn't it but this top is very similar to um, the Freya from Tilly and the Buttons um, I might just swap the sleeve out of that to be honest and um, add that onto it and see how that works but anyway this is the fabric that I'm going to make it out of which is this lovely navy jersey that I got from Minerva Crafts this is going to be my Minerva make um, for December and I've got three meters of this so I think I'm going to make a midi length version um, and I'm going to have a go at that today as well as making the gingerbread house but first I need to get a shower. Gosh it's really bright in here so I have had my shower, got dressed and um, yeah feel more like myself now. Um, I wanted to show you the toaster dress again because I put it on my vlog the other night but obviously you couldn't see it very well. Uh, with it being so dark. So now it's a lovely sunny day. I thought I'd put it on and let you have a look. So here it is. Um, essentially all I did was lengthen the dress to midi length. Now initially I took it out more like a cocoon shape but it really didn't suit me at all. Um, so I ended up using my Edie dress, the Sew Over Edie dress that I made back in the September I think it was. And I just laid it on top of this pattern and then just cut, cut the shape and stitched up the sides. So, yeah, this is it really. Um, excuse my underwear, I need to wear better underwear with it. But, um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. I think it's, I'm not, I'll wear it with tights and boots probably, but, um, but it's just another nice, another nice little basic to wear. I'm just laying my pattern pieces on this fabric and I can't figure out which way up it goes. Right, if you look at it this way, you think it's this way up because you've got a bird there, birds there, okay. However, these birds are upside down. So if you turn around that way, so those birds are the right way up, then these birds are upside down. So they're the right way up there, this one's upside down here, they're upside down there, and that one's upside down there. I can't figure this out at all. Um, I think I'm going to go with that way. Um, because I'm looking at, I mean even the flowers as well, I'm, yeah. I think I'm going to go with that way. 
and we'll just see how it looks when it's done. Right, so I've got my gingerbread out of the fridge and let it just come back up to room temperature, which will probably take about an hour or so. Um, you can quicken that up in the microwave if you're not gonna use your gingerbread mixture straight away. So I've um, done that. I've just bobbed it in the microwave for a minute and it's now really pliable. So what you need to do the gingerbread house is you need to cut out your um, your construction pieces obviously before it's baked. So on the website that I showed you yesterday on the BBC website, well, there's loads of templates all over the internet for different gingerbread houses and churches and all sorts of things. Um, but this is the one that I got from the BBC website, which is basically, um, you've got two end panels like that that go together sort of like that. You've got a roof, two sides to the roof, and then two side walls. So I need to cut out two each of each of these. Um, you're gonna need a fairly blunt knife to cut out your, um, if you're gonna cut any windows in, anything like that. I have done before, but I tend to find that cutting windows does mean that when the gingerbread is baked, it can be a little bit more fragile. So you don't have to do that. You can obviously pipe on with the icing you can pipe windows on. So I'm not gonna do that today. You're gonna need a rolling pin and a palette knife or a fish slice, that kind of thing to be able to lift your pieces off your worktop once you roll them out. And then you're gonna need a lined baking tray, baking sheet with greaseproof paper on. So you set your oven temperature to 200 degrees centigrade. I'm really sorry, but for, for those of you that use Fahrenheit, I haven't got a clue what that is because in the UK, if you have an electric oven as I do, it's, um, it's centigrade, so uh, yeah. And you need to roll your gingerbread, not too thin, because obviously you don't want it to be, um, you don't want it to be really fragile and crack when it's, when it's cooked. So the thickness I've done there is probably about the right thickness. So you just lay on your template and basically just cut round it. Don't be tempted to go too thin with this because, um, I mean, it's gonna rise in the oven anyway. Okay. So this is where you need to just be careful with lifting up your, your piece off your worktop and then placing it on your, your baking sheet. You can just obviously just straighten it up a little bit if, um, if it's a little bit wonky, that kind of thing. And then uh, that's ready to go in. So I'm just gonna do the other pieces now. So once your piece, once you're happy with all your pieces and they're nicely squared up, bob it in your oven at 200 degrees for about 12 minutes 
and um, when they're done they should be nicely golden brown and leave them on a cool cooling rack to go completely cool before you move them. It's really not good having a house that smells of gingerbread cooking when you're trying to lose weight. Um, but anyway, that's in the oven now baking away. I have almost finished the Vogue V2 V9264. Had to look at the had to look at the pattern envelope then. And um, I can't show you the full dress, I'm afraid, because this is my Minerva make for December, so I need to save it for that. However, I will insert a couple of little pictures that I've taken that show it on and I will just give you a little glimpse of it on my mannequin. So I'm just going to turn the camera. So here it is. Um, it's got this lovely neckline and um, what I did, I ended up using the sleeves from the Lady Skater dress which is a pattern by Kitschy Koo. I'll leave the link down below if you're interested. Um, and that's gone in really, really well. So I'm really happy with that. I've got rid of those puff sleeves and uh, yeah, it's gorgeous. Oh, post is So been. the post was my quarter inch foot, which is that one there for my sewing machine. I don't know if that's going to focus at all. You get the idea. Okay, so I am going to have a go at a little bit more quilting. Now, I'm waiting for my son to get home from school so that we can have a little go on getting the gingerbread house together. So in the meantime, I've had a little look at the Missouri Quilt Company tutorials on YouTube. Thank you so much for everybody that recommended those. And I want to have a go at a Dresden star. Is it a star or circle or sun or whatever you call it anyway? Um, I found a template just on from browsing on Google. It was really easy to find. And I've got some quilting cottons in my stash. I've got like packs of fat quarters that I bought a few years ago and never done anything with. Um, so I have cut out some templates. Here we go. These are all dashwood cottons so I've done 20 all together of coordinating fabrics that's those and then we've got those ones and then there's those ones and then finally those ones so I thought they all went together quite well so I'm going to have a go at stitching these using my new foot gotta have a play and um, yeah we'll uh, see how we get on. So what you do is you with quarter inch seam fold it in half right sides together and sew along this top edge there and then you fold it right way out like that and press. Whoops I didn't mean to do that so um, I'm going to have to unpick that and restitch but um, there's one I've just done. How cute is that? So I'm going to go press it and um, just cut off all these little little loose threads and then create the centre. So you can start putting your houses together once your gingerbread is completely cool. These are completely cool now but obviously still handle them with care because they can be quite fragile. Um, this is one house here and then I did have enough to make another one so I'm doing a slightly different one which all the pieces for that one are here and I also had a few little bits left over so I've just made some little Christmas trees with a hole in that I can hang on the tree um, when they're decorated as well. Now um, you need to make royal icing for this which is egg whites and icing sugar so that um, it sets really quite firm. However I my icing bags are all stored in a cake decorating box which is in our outside office which I can't get to at the minute because it's dark and I can't see what I'm doing. So I'm going to have to store these overnight in a box and um, get that out in the morning when it's daylight again so that we can actually put it together tomorrow. So my Dresden plates are pressed. I really like those. I actually had enough to do two, so I've cut out the centres which are just out of some green cotton, um, so that's going to be the centre. 
um, but I need to go cook tea now so I'm gonna get on with that and then I'm gonna put my feet up for the rest of the night because it's been a really busy day so I hope you've had a really lovely day and um, yeah hoping tomorrow to get the gingerbread house finally done and uh, yeah I will uh, look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow bye bye